Well, today's show, it's all about the latest and greatest weight loss and fitness secrets. We're here with Alex, who says that hanging upside down could be a boon to your health. So show us what you're talking about, Alex. Absolutely. So this is the Evolution Health Body Lift. The way you use it is you're going to kneel in front of it, like so, and you're going to place your head inside of the cutout. And then you're going to make sure your shoulders are, are well situated in there. You're going to pop your legs out like you're doing a downward dog, and you're walk, going to walk them towards you. And then make sure your arms are up in a 90 degree angle and locked, and make sure that you're tightening your abs. And then you're just going to place your leg up, and you can just stay here and kind of relax into the pose Voila. for as long as you Piece feel comfortable. Cake. There you go. Wow. <laughs> And so, easy. And so what it would, is pretty easy, it is. So what would be the health benefit of something like that? For those of us who are at our desks all day in front of the computer, hunched over, this is a great way to decompress your spine. It's also going to decongest, decongest your internal organs, and it's also going circulation. to... Circulation. Circulation, absolutely. And it's going to increase the blood flow to your brain. Uh, delivering more oxygen and, and nutrients. your skin, your blood. You're going to uh, have a really nice glow. At the beginning glow, of the show, feel, I felt the increased blood flow in my brain. <laughs> yeah, right. So how long do you do it when you get in position? Well, that's the thing. So for beginners, we would recommend doing it for as long as you feel comfortable. And if that's just one second or five seconds, do it for whatever you feel mm -hmm. comfortable. And then you can work your way up to 30, 45 seconds, one minute. You two want to give us a whirl? Yeah. So right, spot so me. Okay. You guys are going to spot me. I so actually watch my yeah, shorts. Yeah, kneel into it and place your okay, head so in the cutout. Place, and then make sure like... your shoulders are, are situated pretty back there. Ugh. Yeah. And then uh, um, pop your legs out as if you're hey, doing Lisa. a downward dog and walk so them Jim, towards you. Your walk them towards here. you as far okay. back as you can. Arms up here. Like, as walk far it back up. towards you as you can. Walk it up, dog. Uh, walk your legs up. Uh. As, there you go. And then pop one leg up. <sighs> there you go. Okay. There you go. Oops. Yeah, okay. you got it. Yeah. 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 Do you want to come down? Come right. down, Jimbo. Woo. Do you feel That's that? Perfect. Yeah. Oh, your eyes are red, too. <laughs> I'll do mine later. <laughs> so this is something that, you know, make, make sure you're, if you're going to try something like this, be really safe, have a spotter, make sure that you're in good enough health to do this. Right. And um, we recommend using it with a wall, especially for beginners. You're going to want to use a wall. That's going to give you that added security and stability. 